try and squeeze in a short commercial break. We are live at the Democratic National Convention here in Chicago, Illinois. We're back right after this. Our biggest challenge, uncertainty. Hidden fees, surcharges, who knows what to expect. Turn shipping to your advantage. Keep it simple with clear upfront pricing. With USPS Ground Advantage. I wish my TV provider let me choose what I pay for. Sling lets you do that. Hey, where are you going? Hey, uh... I wish my TV provider let me choose what I pay for and let me pause my subscription when I want. Sling lets you do that. Do? Sling! I wish my TV provider let me choose what I pay for and let me pause my subscription when I want and have hundreds of free channels. Sling lets you do that too, Mr. Fish. Choose and customize your channel lineup or watch for free. Sling lets you do that. At Consumer Cellular, we pride ourselves on getting you the exact same nationwide coverage as the leading carriers for up to half the cost. But don't worry, we've got a lot more than that going for us. Woo! Like this beautiful store in Arizona, for example. It's the perfect place for me to tell you a little bit more about our phones and how they can become your phones. You name it, we probably got it. We have the top smartphones from all the major companies. If it's state-of-the-art cameras you want with space-age metal housing, we got them. If you want a smartphone with lots of bells and whistles but won't break the bank, we've got that too. We even have flip phones like the Iris Flip. If you're someone that doesn't need all that mumbo jumbo and just wants something simple. And now, we even have watches. We do. No matter what device you choose, you'll be happy to know that if your data needs change... No problem. With our SmartFlex feature, you don't have to sweat it. Like say you're on a road trip out west and end up using a bunch of data. We can simply flex you up to the next data tier for as little as $5. Then, when you get home, you can flex right back down with no penalty. So you only pay for what you actually need. With Consumer Cellular, you get the exact same nationwide coverage as the leading carriers for up to half the cost. I know what you're thinking. What if I don't have one of these amazing stores in my town yet? Can I get these phones sent to me? Yes, you can. Will our award-winning customer service help me switch over or add a line for $15 to make my own family plan? Of course they will. Is it easy? Easy as pie. You see that tower out there? It's a beauty. And there are thousands more like it, working hard for me and you, supplying 5G coverage to this beautiful nation of ours. We know how important coverage is. That's why we offer a risk-free guarantee. If you're not satisfied within 30 days of activation, you can pay nothing. Oh, look. New customers save $50 when you sign up today. Call 1-800-485-8390. Find us in Target or visit ConsumerCellular.com to switch today. She knows what she's talking about. Pick up the phone. As you know, as an emerging business, it's important to keep your budget intact. At Fiverr, freelancers helped us maintain quality standards while efficiently managing costs, contributing to the success and growth of our business. Welcome back. We are live in Chicago. Joel Rubin is a Democratic strategist. He served as the director of Jewish outreach for Senator Bernie Sanders back in 2020, also working as a senior State Department official in the Obama administration. And Mr. Rubin, I want to get your take on, on some things that the former president is saying these days, specifically how Jews should vote. Your thoughts on the rhetoric that is coming out on the other side of the aisle. Well, look, I think that uh, Kamala Harris, for example, she has a great story to tell about her support uh, for the Jewish community. She has a very strong uh, relationship, longstanding, with the Jewish community in the Bay Area. She has been an advocate for Israeli security, uh, an advocate for a ceasefire that gets the hostages out. So she has a strong story. And the American Jewish community wants to hear that more. They're still getting to learn her uh, Joe Biden had a lot of confidence in Jewish community across the board. So right now, the vice president, she's reintroducing herself as the future commander-in-chief. And with the language that shows empathy to the Palestinians, which is crucial for the long-term relationship between the United States and Israel in me Middle East peacemaking. So she's threading the needle, and uh, the American Jewish community is going to come out in strong support. The campaign, though, is forced to walk that tightrope between yes. protecting Israel, um, but also protecting civilian lives in Gaza. How do they walk a tightrope that, that some say only Solomon and his, his wisdom could figure out a way to unravel? Because absent a ceasefire, do you see the protests that are happening outside of this arena going away or only going to get bigger? 
Well, I think that the protests outside are one thing, and then what's happening behind the scenes are another. Uh, there are uh, uncommitted delegates who are here who were elected and have the right to be at the table, and they are having conversations directly with the Harris campaign about what uh, role they can have, as well as having side uh, discussions and official events blessed by the DNC here, and that's a positive. Uh, outside, when the protests get off the line, when they start to get the language that is dangerous, that goes too far. But uh, they've been relatively modest. But I think for Kamala Harris, the vice president, she's been very clear. She wants a ceasefire and exchange for hostages. She wants there to be a two-state solution, and she understands that the United States is central to ensuring that Israel has its security and that the Palestinians do get justice and security as well. And I think that's an optimistic tone. Uh, we need to lean in on this as the United States. Our diplomacy is irreplaceable in the Middle East. So in the short run, the ceasefire for hostages. But over time, when she gets into the White House, uh, getting a plan in order to try to move the parties to an actual peace settlement, that takes nuance, and that's what she brings. Are you convinced that there will be a ceasefire? I believe that we're moving in that direction. I think it's probably 50 to 55 percent because there are spoilers every day. Uh, but the president, Biden, he has made this a highest priority. Uh, the pressure is on Prime Minister Netanyahu. The pressure is on Hamas. The Israeli families are demanding it. The Israeli security establishment wants it. This is the way to get the hostages out. The Palestinian people have suffered for far too long. They need a break. They need a rest. But they need more aid coming in. And I don't think the president's going to rest until they get that deal. There is a belief, including among some of the hostage families, that uh, the Netanyahu administration is trying to survive politically, but not necessarily doing the best things for Israel. Oh, yeah. Are you convinced of that? I think that Prime Minister Netanyahu has a major problem, which is the credibility of his word right now is questionable because he needs to stay in power in order to avoid facing criminal charges on corruption that could send him to prison, uh, echoes uh, of a uh, certain uh, American former president as well. But the problem here is that uh, he oversaw the and saw the single greatest and gravest terror attack against the state of Israel on October 7th, and has still not paid any public accountability for that, no political cost. Uh, if he ends this war and goes into ceasefire, that accounting will come. And so the longer he delays it, the longer he stays in power, and the Israeli public is deeply negative on the prime minister. Not negative on the military operation entirely, no. But on his handling of it, yes. Democratic strategist Joel Rubin. Joel, thanks for being with us. Thanks, Sal. We're back.